All right, guys, what's up? Dustin Depp here. And as you guys can see, today I've got with me the all-new Chromebook Pixel. Now, there is a big reason I bought this Chromebook Pixel, and that is to test out USB Type-C cables. Uh, as you guys know, there's been a huge rash of USB-C cables that haven't been compliant. It's primarily the C to A cables uh, that isn't compliant. So we're going to check a bunch of them today uh, to uh, go ahead and see how they're looking now. So these are new cables from Orsley that uh, they just sent me and they said that these are compliant and uh, they will be for sale this week. So we'll check these out shortly. But first off, I just want to show you how to test them. So uh, it's pretty easy if you have a Chromebook Pixel. The easiest way to do it, you don't even have to go in developer's mode. This is straight from, uh, from Benson uh, showing us how to do it. All you have to do is take a cable that you uh, know is good or know is bad, either way. Well, you don't even have to know, but just to check. So I know that the OnePlus cable is bad, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug this in. And uh, I will plug it into the charger first. So we'll go ahead and plug this into this Microsoft Surface charger. And then I will plug it into the computer here. I'm going to let it go, and this thing should uh, go ahead and start charging it's going to come up and say low power as it says but we're going to let it go for 60 seconds now that is the thing you've got to let it go for at least about a minute so at 11:39, we'll be able to check this log and see something around that so i'll probably fast forward this video a few times during those 60 seconds just so you can see what a bad cable looks like so let's go ahead and reload this so once you reload your chrome dot uh your chrome system page um let it reload, hopefully it'll update it, and you're gonna scroll down to a, uh, a block here that says D-Mess, D-M-E-S-E-G, um, let's see, right, D-Message, I'm guessing is what it stands for. We'll go ahead and hit Expand. You'll scroll all the way to the bottom of that message because this thing is in chronological order, so you'll go all the way to the bottom, and it should tell you right there, 32 was the last time, so it hasn't updated yet, it hasn't been a minute. We'll go ahead and reload it and hopefully it'll have updated. Like I said, it takes 60 seconds each time for this thing to update. So uh, you've got to leave the cable in for 60 seconds to check it. D message expand. So there's a developer mode way to do it that is quicker, um, but obviously there's a lot more that goes into setting that up. So this is the easiest way to do it. So here we go, 38. And this one says it is uh, 5,000 millivolts, which is correct. All of them, all of them say that. But the problem with this cable is it's an A to C cable, and it says 3,000 milliamps. Now we know that uh, these cables A to C aren't meant for that. It should say 2,400 max is basically what it should say. But because it doesn't have that 56k resistor in the uh, in the USB Type-C end here, it's uh, it's pulling more voltage than it actually should, or it's, it's at least trying to. And if you have an old charger, or you've got it plugged into an old laptop or something like that, on a Chromebook Pixel or a Nexus uh, 5X or 6P, it could damage the charger, so uh, be aware of that. Now that is what a bad cable looks like, so we'll go ahead and unplug that. We know that uh, they should never read 3000 if they're at A to C because that's not set up for that. So we're going to throw that OnePlus cable to the side. Um, and we'll have a look at these new cables that, uh, that Orsley sent me just to see a difference. So here is the first cable that they sent me. It's in their classic packaging here, this like Ziploc type bag, but it's it feels really nice. I really do like the packaging on this. Um, we'll go ahead and pop it open. This is just the single cable. Uh, and it is USB 3.0 now as well. So before their uh, A to C cables were all 2.0, so you had the slower charging speeds. But uh, since the update of the cables, they went ahead and, and made them all 3.0 as well. So you can get that faster speed too if you need it. So we're going to unwrap this cable here. Overall, it's a pretty nice cable, pretty thick. As you can see, the only bit of branding is right there on the end. It's like stamped into it. So if we can get a good uh, focus here, you can see it there. It just says Orsley right there on the end. Uh, doesn't really stick out or anything like that, so I don't really mind it to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and plug this guy in to the charger here. I'm just using a Microsoft Surface charger, by the way. So we'll plug that in there and we'll go ahead and plug it in to the actual pixel. So these uh, USB C, a lot of people have a problem with them because they think they're not clicking in all the way, but you just have to literally give it a little push because it does make an audible click once it's in. So now we'll 
Fast forward this video to the 60 seconds it takes and we will check to see what this cable says. So uh, we'll give it a minute. All right guys, so here we go. Uh, it has worked, it's loaded up and we're using the normal Orsley uh, single pack cable. And uh, as you can see right here, it's showing the uh, 5,000 millivolt and 1,000 milliamps, which is what it's pulling. Um, which is perfectly fine as long as it doesn't show the uh, 3000 which is exactly what you don't want then uh, you're good to go so this is a good cable so we'll go ahead and check out uh, the multi-pack cables here which I'm pretty sure they'll show the exact same thing uh, but we'll give them a test just to check so this single cable here I will put on the uh, in the description links in the description so you guys can pick this up like I said it is USB 3.0 compliant and it is up to USB spec now that we know that so I'll set that to the side and we'll check out this multi-pack cable now this is their four pack and uh, I absolutely love this new packaging it looks a ton better to be honest with you and I really like this little touch here because if you don't know Orsley is based um, right down here in London if I can get a good focus on this here so and it now says Orsley of London right there there we go so it says 2015 Orsley London uh, and they are they're based just right down in London uh, I've actually been to their office before to uh, pick up some cases for review but uh, we'll go ahead and open these up and check them out and see what we've got here so the same thing with the old multi-pack you get four uh, different colors of cables, these four colors right here in particular. Um, another thing about these is these are all USB 3.0 now, and uh, they're still really, really inexpensive. Um, so let's go ahead and pop in the orange one here and check it out. Go ahead and plug this back into the charger here, and then we will plug it into the Pixel. So there we go. <clears throat> we'll let it charge for another minute, like I said, and then we'll uh, we'll check it out. But uh, just so you guys do know, I did test all of these cables before making this video just to make sure, and all of the cables were compliant. I tested every color because they sent me two packs of them, um, and I tested uh, their single cable as well because I had another pack of that, and every one of them works like a champ. So uh, so yeah, and if you just if you're not sure if it's working right, if you have a Pixel and you want to test it out, there's also ways to do it with a with a 5x and 6p, but um, I prefer the Pixel. It's easier to do it with. Uh, you can just plug in a One Plus cable, which is known bad, or you can use this little One Plus uh, connector here, this little adapter, um, because this will actually make any micro USB. Uh, cable bad as well so you can use this on one so you'll then see that 3000 milliamp and that's how you know that it is bad so let's go ahead and refresh the about system page on this chrome and we'll go down to the d message log again like i said and expand we'll scroll all the way to the bottom of it and hopefully the time is updated and this time has updated 45 so this one is charging at 5500 so that's completely fine so obviously these are going to be slow charging cables slow charging cables just due to the fact that they are uh, A to C on the pixel here um, it even comes up and lets you know that they're slow charging but uh, <clears throat> it says low power charger sorry not slow charging but they work like a champ. They will charge your uh, six uh, Nexus 6P just fine. I'll actually show you. I think you even get rapid charging on the Nexus 6P because it does charge over. So uh, just charging, as you guys can see there, it says charging. It knows it's not charging rapidly because the cable is now correct. That was a problem with a lot of the uh, the other cables. Was um, it would come up and falsely say that it was charging rapidly when it actually is not. So. There we go. I'll just quickly show you these other cables. We won't go through and test them all on the Chromebook Pixel, but I just want to show you one more out of this multi-pack so you guys are confident that they are correct now. So, and like I said before, these are now USB type C and charging, just like a champ. So no more of that charging rapidly uh, error that we used to get. So there you go, guys works like a champ. So like I said, these are the uh, Orsley multi-pack cables. Um, right here is the packaging. So
So I will leave some links in the uh, description below so you guys can pick those up. Obviously, it's going to come with four cables just like this. Uh, the length on these is, let's see, I'm not actually sure of the length on these. Um, I think they're one meter cables, to be honest with you. Uh, they do do a longer version, but I don't think that one is quite ready yet. But these four, these four multi-pack cables and the single cable should all be out this week. And like I said, they are all USB compliant. And uh, I tested them via exactly what uh, the Googler Benson said in his post. So we know that they're good to go. Um, these are their newest cables. So as you guys can see there, um, yeah, totally. If you guys are buying cables... These are probably the ones you want to get because they're still inexpensive compared to the other USB-C cables out there. And uh, yeah, it's the way to go, guys. Uh, you don't if if you're using a OnePlus Two, doesn't matter as much because the OnePlus Two doesn't try to pull that three amps of current. But everything else does. So a 5x, a 6p, and all these new devices that are uh, that are going to be charging via USB-C. So if I was you, if you're buying cables from now on. Totally check these out, guys. At Dustin Depp. Peace.